Hi, my name is John and this is Business Focus. In today's video, we'll be talking about network modeling problems using linear programming, uh, talking about how to find the shortest route. So let's get started. And we're back. Thank you again for joining today. So in today's video, we're going to showcase or show you how to find the optimal solution in a network modeling problem. In particular, the, uh, an example is shortest route here or finding the shortest route uh, using linear programming here uh, using Excel. So if you're familiar with linear program already, uh, you know that you can use different tools to, to find the optimal solution rather than solving it manually. It could be DTUs, tedious or time consuming here. But for this one, it's a very simple case and I'll show you how to go about here. So uh, I've created a an example here as to uh, show you uh, we have a network uh, destinations different nodes uh, going from one place to another so you're trying to find the shortest route here uh, to better illustrate so let me show you the the, 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 the the diagram here so here we're an example you have five nodes here so the goal here is to get from node one the starting point and get to node five which is the end point here now you may notice in the diagram uh, you have nodes 1, let's say you go to node 2, there's a uh, distance of 250. And then from node 1, going to node 4, it's 200, 1 to 3, it's 150 and so forth. So the goal here is to get to node 1, from node 1 to node 5 with the least uh, amount of distance. Shortest route as mentioned earlier. Now, if we were to do this manually, so we can see that if we were to choose node 1, obviously uh, you have only option going to node 2. Or node 3 because if you go to node 4 it will be longer you'll taking a longer route getting to node 5 so it's either 1 to 3 which is 150 or 1 to 2 which is 250 so obviously the shorter route is choosing 150 then from node 3 you have choices of going to 3 to 2 versus 3 to 5 obviously the shorter route is going directly to the end point which is node 5 and if you add the nodes from 1 to 3 and 3 to 5 is 150 plus 100 is 250 here so this is our answer here so you want to remember this if we when we do the excel solver computation later on did it will it yield the same answer here and hopefully we'll get the same answer <laughs> later on hopefully not make a mistake anyway so the next part now is to create a table or a template so that you can easily translate that in a spreadsheet model so that excel can solve it for you so in this next worksheet, as you can see here, I've created the table here, three columns. You have the first column, the from, from node or meaning the origin of those nodes. And then you have the second column, which is the to or destination node. And the last one, which is the distance. So let's say from node one to two, the distance is 250, one to three is 150 and so forth and so forth. So we want to create a special model using this uh, template here. So in the next worksheet, as you can see here, the parameter is looks similar. So you have the origin and destination as well as the uh, distance so far. Now, the next part now is creating a model where you will include all the computations that you need so that solver can find the optimal solution here. So the first part we're going to create is it still looks similar. You have the from and to columns and then you have the distance column here. But what we've added here is the route column here so that we can ask solver to find which route uh, is the best route with yield the, the shortest route whether it's 1 to 2, 1 to 3 or 1 to 4 and so forth and then we have to create a function formula here uh, finding the objective which is to minimize the uh, cost or, or route here so in this case we, we put in the formula some product and select the entire columns of route comma and select the distance here now obviously we haven't selected yet so that's why it's still zero then the next part now is to create another uh, table here that will compute for the nodes as well as the flow as well as the limitations or as the requirement whether it's a starting or end point as well as the intermediaries here so in the next one as you can see here we have those three so what are the nodes so as again the different nodes that we have here so if we were to look there are one two three four and five okay 
so we have to input that one two three four and five now the flow is where the computations where you're going to input so that excel solver will find the criteria that you're looking for okay so for the first one actually the but all of it you're going to use the function formula sum if with slight variation whether it's a starting end or intermediary is here so for the first one we'll use the basic formula sum if now if you notice if you type the formula it's asking for your range criteria and what are you supposed to add if that meets the criteria here so the criteria is the different nodes that we have here so our uh, our first range is we're going to select the column under from okay and then select the criteria which is node one okay and then comma for the sum range we're going to add the the, the total routes that's going to be selected later on now uh, you want to lock the cells uh, for your uh, range which you're going to need later on okay and even the uh, route as well for your other succeeding formulas in other nodes okay now uh, you're going to do the same for the rest but not yet sorry for the second one uh, since this is not the starting node anymore or the endpoint it's the in between or intermediary uh, nodes you have to add another formula guess what it's the same one instead of uh, the sum if you're going to subtract the formula sum if again in this case your range will be slightly different instead the uh, from the ori origin location or from you're going to select the range of your to or destination okay we're going to lock the cell here and then the criteria guess what it's the same as before it's no two so you don't lock that cell and then the sum range is the route again then you want to lock that cell as well and then close parentheses and then press enter now you're going to drag down or copy select to nodes two three and four uh, i'll explain in a bit as to why and if you did that for the last one for the fifth node which is the end node uh we're going to change the formula here so at the start node if you remember we use the sum if fun uh formula here for the end node how, how do you know if it's the end node? We're using the minus sum if formula instead. But that's it. So, uh, what's the requirement or the constraints for the start and as well as the, uh, what do you call this? As the intermediary. So, for the start node, so you'll know right away it's a starting node. You use the constraint uh, of it has to be equal to 1. Okay, and then for the... Uh, intermediaries here for nodes 2, 3, 4 uh, has to be 0. Okay. And then for the end node, so it's the opposite of the starting node, so we will use negative 1 here. And that's it. Simple as that. So you may have more nodes, uh, a more complex uh, network uh, model problem, but the logic is still the same here. So the next part now is encoding this in your data uh, tabs under Excel Solver here. So once uh, Excel Solver pops up, so it's asking for your objective function. So this is the function where you put in the formula sum product in your total cost here. Then you press enter. Then you want to set it to minimization. This is a minimization shortest route. Then you want to select uh, by changing the variable cells under the column of route. Enter. And then the two main constraints uh, you're going to add. The first one is the routes themselves. So from the left-hand side in the cell reference, as you notice, uh, you're going to select the route. What the heck is it? There you go. So you select the routes, all of it. Enter. Now take note. So the outcome of the route has to be whether it's uh, the route is selected or not. So it has to be either zeros or one. So the, the constraint here has to be binary here. So you have to select the option of binary. And that's the first one. The second one is uh, for the uh, nodes flow and the start endpoint here. So the left hand side is by selecting the uh, the flow here. Oops, where the heck is it? Can't see it. 
the heck is it? There you go. So you select the flow column where you have all the formula of your sum ifs. And then it has to be equal to. And then for the constraint, you just select the column under started end. So positive one for starting node, negative one for the end node, and zeros for the intermediaries. And then select OK. Then make sure that once you select that, where's the data tabs again? Again, there you go. So once you select that, uh, make sure to check the box for non-negativity. The unconstrained variable has to be non-negative. And then select the solver option, uh, solving method for simplex LP here. And then click solve here. If you done it right, so it should come up. So as you can see here, uh, it yielded the uh, optimal solution by selecting routes 1 to 3 and 3 to 5. And the total cost that would minimize it is 250. So it did come up or come out with the same answer as we did earlier. So if you notice, routes 1 to 3 and 3 to 5, which is 250. And voila, that's it. So that's how simple the, the shortest route uh, problem uh, when you're confronted with this one using linear programming, uh, using Excel here. And it's very simple once you understand the process, especially creating the, the appropriate template for your spreadsheet model for your parameter and model. Obviously, in particular, the model part where you create the column for routes and then columns for the nodes, for the flow and the starting endpoint criteria here. And that's it. It's just uh, that's how simple it can be once done properly here. Regardless, you have limited nodes or limited uh, destination as you can add as many as you want and it will yield the same uh, result, finding the optimal solution here. Anyway, that's it for this week's video. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to help continue supporting the support this channel to, to, to help it grow. Our, our goal is to, to reach 4,000 subscribers here now. Anyway, uh, if you have any questions about the video, uh, anything that's not clear to you, feel free to leave your comments down below. Or, or you might uh, want to leave your comments to suggest other topics for future videos that will pretty, pretty be helpful, not just for me, but for those people who are watching uh, regularly here. Uh, I think that's about it. And as always, for more guide tutorials and tips, you can check out my other videos. As always, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.